everybody, Dr. Quinn here, and I am uh, going to go over week six with you so you can kind of see the shape of the week to come. Okay, so we're going to talk about more about figures and tables. Um, you'll see some um, updates with APA 7th edition citations. Remember, in the report to the supervisor, you must cite sources um, in the body sections where they're used and in uh, a reference entry. That is the only APA requirements for the, 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 the document. You can format it based on park concepts outside of the way you format a traditional academic essay, but you will be required to have those in-text in citations and some references. And that's why this review is coming up um, this week. So we'll click on learning resources right here and you'll see that we've got the figures and tables adding visual elements to your document that will help build on our discussions from last week some sample edition citations and some some helpful guides here um, you'll notice as well that here under the discussions um, we've got um, resumes and cover letter discussion and then examining park for resumes because that's coming up with writing assignment five i'm going to add here in just a second actually let me just do it now all right now you'll be you should be able to see this um, writing assignment number four, it says due September 17. Remember, that's the draft and the final is due on the 20th. We wanted to make that draft due date the, the published one so everybody gets some feedback. If you end up not submitting the final, I'm not sure it's the end of the world, but there is a point value assessed to not submitting that final. Let me show that to you. Okay, so in this assignment, let's take a look at the rubric itself and you'll see the rubric here length did you hit the word length did you hit the number of graphics did you hit the number of sources are your sources scholarly right um you know did you go beyond a google search is there a memo is there an executive summary do you have the prop you'll notice the value the problem and the solution sections are worth the the most points obviously that's the heart of this report is where you you make you prove your quality knowledge in some of these issues and how you've you've recommended solutions so 80 points are in the problem and solution the quality of your sources you want to make sure you have some sources in the problem and some in the solution for example did you accommodate your secondary audience right um, you want to make sure that if we're talking about any of the employees for example um, you know we're not calling them out I mean you can name them and you can say that it would be recommended that, as just an example, recommended that John has somebody trained under him. Like, that's fine because, say, John is creating problems with, that wouldn't be an accommodation of the secondary source. But instead of saying, let's give John um, a, a junior level employee that has the same access in case John is out, that would be perfectly fine. And that would accommodate a secondary audience. Tone and maybe knowing that Mark um, and some of your colleagues may not know some of these concepts. Defining some of those terms would be a nice accommodation, right? The quality and message of the graphics, I can't be, um, uh, I can't say more strongly that you really want to avoid like the clip arty concept art images and you want to use data driven images. Okay, the APA format, that's for in text citations and references, the sentence level grammar, and here, a whole 43 points. And I'm actually want to do the math on that. <laughs> Let's see. 43 divided by 285. 15% of your assignment grade is based on the fact that you actually submitted by Tuesday night, you got the feedback and you were able to, doesn't mean we have to agree on everything, but you were able to adapt to and apply um, uh, uh, some of the feedback and make updates to your document. Unless I said, oh, this is so great. I don't think there's much you need to do here at all. So that's how this assignment is gonna be graded. All right, now let's actually go back to the overview. All right, just so I'm not glossing over things. Um, you do have two discussions this week. Uh, one of them is going to be on, I know I mentioned it super briefly, but I think it's probably going to be beneficial if I go into a little bit more detail here. Okay, the first one, resume and cover letter tips. Listen, I know not all students are in the middle of a consideration of a job change, but we can work on documents for your professional benefit and we can tinker with the ideas and see how they apply. Whether or not you actually in writing assignment five decide to apply for a particular job, that's immaterial. What we want to do is make sure your documents are super updated. And I know for people who have been in a job for X amount of years, it may be seven, eight, 10 years since you've updated a resume. So it always bears 
uh, another look, another another round of editing, especially for these more modern part concepts and to see how we can apply them. Um, you never know when you may be asked to put in your name for an internal promotion and you will need some of these documents. And so it's always good to have them on hand. We know not everybody is switching careers, but some students are. We know some of you may want to use these documents now, and we hope that this type of writing assignment has immediate benefits and implications for the work um, that you do professionally, and that's why this assignment's here. So you'll take a look at resumes and cover letters, and we'll talk about some of those do's and don'ts. We've got the experienced person sample who's staying in their field and somebody whose career changing, so you can think about what best resume style is for you. And we're also going to talk about the park concepts with those resumes and you'll have a, a sample to look at as well. So this this discussion week is a primer for writing assignment five and um, you will be also submitting writing assignment for final on the 20th. And I'll put those dates in the announcement as well. Um, I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing those final reports to the supervisor. And of course, as always, if you have questions, just let me know.